you the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. Traffic making its way. Bring some depth tonight, but the starting lineup is intact for this team. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Aldrich out there with DeRozan. Then there's Murray. Then it's Johnson. And it's Walker in at the two guard. And for the Warriors. Green down low with Looney. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Steph Curry. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. Here's Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. And it's Green with the jam. That's pretty much textbook screen and roll action with Draymond Green as the screener. And just as Kelly Oubre was coming into his own as an NBA starter, a meniscus tear in his right knee ended his season. Now, back in action. We'll see how quickly he can recover his explosive athleticism. Five to shoot. DeRozan for three. Offensive rebound. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I caught up with Greg Popovich, and he talked to his players about not letting Draymond Green get into their heads. Coach told them, no matter what Draymond pulls, don't fall into his trap. We need to stay mentally strong and focused. And that means he wants his players to walk away and not try to match him taunt for taunt. Kevin? Thank you, David. And before the injury, Kelly Oubre playing a career high in minutes. A 38 to 40 minutes a game with regularity. G8, do you think that load could have contributed to his injury? Well, Kevin, all young players want those minutes, but that right knee had troubled him for a while. PRP treatment back in 2017, and perhaps some questions for the Suns training set. And taken away by Johnson. And so just over a minute and a half played. And the dunk by Aldridge. Just such a great, aggressive, and confident scoring option right there in the interior. Now, here's Curry. Murray with the defensive effort. You're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Outside DeRozan. Sinks the triple. Yeah, and adding a three-point shot later in his career, DeRozan looking very comfortable on that one. Green dishes to Oubre. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Oubre's got five points so far. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. Heisman's checked in for Kevon Looney. Inside, here's Murray. He's again, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Kelly Oubre. Yeah, way to play and attack both and get to the line. It's his first trip to the line. And so Murray nails both of them. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Oubre outside. Back to Curry. Drops in the layup for two. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. Spurs leading by four. Murray with it. And Curry pulls it down. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. It's good. Curry's got his second basket of the game. And Murray's got the ball here for San Antonio. Pass to DeRozan. Curry against Murray. Count that bucket. Got to talk on defense. That left him all alone. 
Warriors trail by four. And taken away by Johnson. DeRozan against Wiggins. And DeRozan kicks to Aldridge. Steph Curry with the rebound. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. And he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity. And we did. Yeah. And we, we filled it. <laughs> Even over here, we filled it. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. And, of course, having that broken hand last season, Curry couldn't help the Warriors avoid a disastrous season. Kevin Durant gone. Clay rehabbing. The Warriors, I mean, legitimately just left with no scoring whatsoever. But Steph Curry, he's healthy, changes that whole narrative. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. The Warriors trailing. Here's Pascal. And slam dunk by Pascal. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. 129 left in the first quarter. Now here's Mills. Not a lot of room. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. I like the decision there from Patty, but then he generally makes great choices. That's why he's in the rotation. Pass to Toscano. Here's Wanamaker, covered by Mills. From the arc. And Pirtle pulls it down. San Antonio's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Vassell. It's good. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. 44 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Toscano passes to Wiseman. Here's Wanamaker. Just five to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Toscano misses. San Antonio leading by four. Here's White. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Spurs shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Andrew Wiggins is checked in for the Warriors. Spurs also with the sub. Isles checked in. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Here's Wanamaker. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. On the wing, Wiggins. And slam dunk by Pascal. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Spurs lead by four. A lot of good quality reads down there. Took some chances, but feeling more calculated than risky. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court for San Antonio. We've got Mills. Miles out there with Rudy Gay. Then it's White. And it's Vassell in at the three. Warriors trail by six. Higgins outside. Good on the shot. And flashing some real toughness inside. Wiggins can finish plays that others simply can't. Pass to Gay. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. San Antonio shooting their 7th and 8th free throw attempts for the game right here. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Pretty consistent player when healthy, and nice to see Rudy Gay working back to this kind of athletic prowess. That one goes. Count it. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. White against Curry. 
down low. Here's Lyles, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Wiggins passes to Wanamaker. And here's Green outside. Nailed from three-point land. Green's got five points so far. So it's the Spurs now. Three-point lead. Draymond Green, a modern-day big. And, of course, we know the impact he has defensively. But for his career, he's only hitting around 30% of his threes. And the last two seasons have been well below that. It's still his willingness to take them that's going to keep the defense honest. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. San Antonio calls timeout. When Draymond plays the center position, though, Brent, 30% from three isn't all that bad. Well, again, we'll go back to the idea of the threat of the shooter. That's going to create more space for all of the action that's happening behind Draymond Green. And, of course, we know his willingness to pass up shots to the preferred pass. That's where he really makes an impact. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They trail by one. Curry passes to Green. That gives them the lead. Green's got five points now this quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. There's the pass to Murray. Spurs passing it around. Now Johnson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Outside, Walker. From deep three-point range. That shot off the mark. The Warriors go the other way. Curry dishes to Green. The rebound by Johnson. The Spurs have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Kicks to Murray. Pass to DeRozan. Over Wiggins. And the basket by DeRozan. Time out, time out. DeRozan's got seven points in the game. Possessing great size at his position, DeRozan's muscular frame allows him to convert through the contact. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Different look here for the Warriors. Give it up for a moment. Warriors have gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second quarter. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Pass to Toscano. It's stolen by DeRozan. Murray with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Here's Walker. Baysmore grabs the miss. Looney kicks to Curry. Passes it to Toscano. Here's Looney. Good, and Curry gets the assist. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. The pass to Murray. The kick out to Walker. There's the three. That shot misses. The Warriors go the other way. Here's Curry. Sinks that one from the post. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. Just so good around the rim. Steph Curry knowing when to try his luck from there, and he gets super creative with some of the spins that he puts on the ball around the rim. Here's DeRozan. San Antonio again missing. Warriors leading by three. It's Curry with the drive. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The aggressiveness on the drive there from Steph. He earns the foul thanks to how he sucks the defense in, out of position, and now to the free throw line. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. Well, the free throw drops for Curry. And those rebounding numbers, G.A., just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach hard and you can't teach instinct. And he has both. Pirtle is checked in for San Antonio. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Curry brings the double outside Aldridge. This one for three. 
again the miss by the Spurs. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Baysmore misses. Spurs trail by five. Murray outside. Pass to Alden. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Greg, LaMarcus Aldridge taking more three-pointers last season, easily passing his career highs in attempts with almost three a game. And Aldridge shot a very respectable percentage from outside. In order to play heavy minutes at the four, you need to be able to shoot. Good to see Aldridge still adding new wrinkles to his game. And the Warriors making a change here. Wanamaker's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Whitey's checked in for Johnson. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Deflects the pass. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. And White with the stuff. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Execution with pace. That's a bad turnover that simply was telegraphed. Pays more on the win. Here's Oubre. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Well, assertive play there from Oubre, just being aggressive and not bothered by the touch. Murray, the pass to DeRozan. White, wide open. He fires. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Oubre on the wing. 19 seconds left in the first half. Yeah, Oubre breaking out the hammer. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. second left so that'll be it for the first half fairly even battle thank you David and we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime they didn't get more than a one possession lead in the period three points was as big as it got they had a they having a dominant impact in this game yeah it's been a great performance from him really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. We've got Wiseman. Lee out there with Kelly Oubre. And it's Wanamaker in at the one spot. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there but couldn't get it to go. Talk about things at halftime and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. The Spurs have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. And here is Murray. Six points for him. And the call will be against Brad Wanamaker. That's foul number two for him. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. DeRozan finds Aldridge. A three from Johnson. Trains the three-pointer. Johnson's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Spurs. The Warriors trail. Oubre outside. And finished off by Oubre. Probably going to have to do more than that as Oubre is finding a way to get into that seam and then overcomes that aggressive defense to score. For San Antonio, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break. Fader on the way and misses it off the right side of the rim. The team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Here's Walker and finished off by Walker. 
neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Curry. Ten points for him. Wiggins surveying the floor. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Rudy Gaze checked in for the Spurs. Andrew Wiggins, the kind of guy that people watch with a microscope, but he has cut down on inefficient shots. Those long twos have started to take more threes and using his athletic ability when he gets on the inside to get to the foul line. For San Antonio, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And Wiggins looking more aggressive off the bounce. Brent getting into the teeth of the defense. Yeah, and his assist or climbing because of that. Also his turnover. So now what you want to do is slow down the game for Andrew Wiggins and show him on film where his outlets are and where his decision-making can be that much better. Spurs trail by three. Walker the pass to get. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. And finished off by Walker. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see in a game this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. They kick it out to Green. They get it back. Higgins outside. Outside, Green. Just five on the clock. On its way from Curry for two. Misses off the left eye. Now here's Walker. Six points for him. Pass to Wiles. Mills with it. Passes it to Gay. Back to Mills. Fires the three. Warriors with the rebound. Curry's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Wiggins, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. He throw good, Wiggins. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for San Antonio. Warriors with the rebound. Wiseman's got four rebounds in this game. Curry dishes to Oubre. Green up on top. Green draws the double. Gay with the block. Uh, using his length well on defense. Rudy Gay working hard. Swats that one away. And Wiseman comes to help. And there's the pass to White. Off target from three-point range. Warriors leading by three. Higgins outside. Pass to Green. Curry dishes to Green. Higgins outside. Six to shoot. Not going to go that time. White with the defensive effort. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Shot's time good out, by out. Mills. The dangerous in the catch and shoot when Mills sets his feet, has great balance, he's tough to stop. Timeout called the Warriors. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself, accelerates off of screens, can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. White against Wiggins, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Jakob Pertl. And this is encouraging. Wiggins looking committed to shooting and forcing the D to compromise. And the Spurs making a change here.
and both free throws good for Wiggins. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. White against Wiggins. The feed now to Aldridge. And that one, good. Aldridge has got it all tied up now for the Spurs. It's an underrated strength of LaMarcus Aldridge, able to power in the shot even when being fouled. Wiggins passes to Pascal, and the shot is good. Both got six. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. White against Pascal. And it's White missing. Golden State's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Wiggins finds Pascal. And slam dunk by Pascal. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Pass to Alden. outside outside DeRozan from deep and there's the shot clock violation couldn't get the shot off in time feeds the Wiggins Again, Golden State. And with that mid-range jumper, Wiggins has the lift to shoot over almost anyone. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Warriors lead by six. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the floor for San Antonio, starting the fourth quarter. DeRozan out there with LaMarcus Aldridge. Then it's Johnson. Then there's DeJounte Murray. And it's White in at the two-guard position. White up top, covered by Wiggins. Warriors leading by eight. Oubre outside. Outside, Green. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Clock at four. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Rosen dishes to Murray. Wiggins against DeRozan, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And you watch the Rosen play. He still has that explosiveness. Great first step out of the triple threat position. Can switch directions on the go. Is still a handful to slow on the perimeter. Stephen Curry's checked in for the Warriors. The Spurs also at the sub. Walker's checked in. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge. He's reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Craig, with the explosiveness you talked about with DeRozan, it helps that he finishes so well when he gets to the rim. And maybe not what he once was, but he is still an elite-level athlete. Doesn't only have to drop the hammer when he gets to the rim either. Very smooth at adjusting mid-flight to finish at the rim. Green kicks to Wiseman. Outside for Curry. Shot clock at five. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. And guys, as soon as you start going over and through a rebounder, you're probably going to get whistled for over the back. 
Yeah, energy is good, but not smart there trying to go through somebody on that play. Murray, the pass to Johnson. DeRozan against Green. And DeRozan. Here we go. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. Boy, and DeRozan is a tough assignment. Able to fend off contact as well on that drive. Oubre against Walker. And finished off by Oubre. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, he settled for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And just because he might not be as big as some of the other guys that are on the floor, it doesn't dissuade him from getting in there and playing fearlessly on the glass. Curry dishes the Wiggins. On the wing, Curry's shot is off. The D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Walker's shot is off, and so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. It's a three-point game. Curry with it. Passes it to Wiseman. Now the dish to Wiggins. Some nice passing by Golden State. On its way from Curry for two. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And the Warriors lead by five. And none better. Steph stepping up. What a great feel for the moment. Steph Curry. Bingo. And they double up DeRozan on the wing. Johnson knocks down the three ball. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Andrew Wiggins. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp, and his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions, but boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. Curry passes to Ubo. To the paint, stolen by Walker. DeRozan with it. Now defended by Oubre. DeRozan, that's good. And the offensive energy of DeRozan won him that shot. He never stops working the floor, looking for those opportunities. Green, the pass to base. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got five assists in the game. And you can see Bazemore is shooting the ball with confidence out there. He wants to be the man in those kind of situations. Outside, Walker. Outside for Murray. Outside, Aldridge. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Over Wiseman. Aldridge can't get it to go. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. For San Antonio, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Back to DeRozan. Over Green. And it's DeRozan missing. The Warriors have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, or of nine. Here's Curry. Oubre outside. To the inside. Green kicks it to Bazemore. It's up a three. Some solid defense from Johnson. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. He feeds it to Alder. Come! Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. And I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Murray finds Bazemore. Seven-second difference. Shot in game clock. Green with the ball. Now Curry. Back to Green. Oh, missed it. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over.
11 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Yes! And that's a display of DeRozan's athletic ability, making his presence felt on offense. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by two. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? I don't think they should be greedy here and think about a triple. With this much time left, I'd attack the basket, get a high percentage shot in tight, and take my chances in overtime. And so it's San Antonio who scrape by with the win. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest.